Hello and welcome back to my creative endeavors. Today I bring you something a little different, I mean at least for your eyeballs since I uploaded some videos with stuff I did in Photoshop and this was made using Illustrator. But I did this in April or May of last year so for me this is different yes but not new. This is a part of a challenge I did to myself where I did 30 drawings in 30 days using only vector work. Although this is old news to my brain I see a lot of value in this type of content so I want to bring this back from the grave and do more stuff like this in the future. This is basically me grabbing some character and turning it into a multitude of variations. In this case I did that using Bart Simpson and I also did one using Phineas from Phineas and Ferb. I apologize for not having a time lapse to show you the process and all the mistakes and tries that led me to these final results but when I did this I was not thinking of creating this YouTube channel and frankly I was just doing stuff to try out some new techniques that I had just discovered at the time. Consider this some sort of recycling of old work but also kind of a rebirth since I will be doing some more stuff like this and possibly creating a new series for this channel. Ok, diving into the drawings themselves. First, I want to say that even one year later, what I find very interesting about these is the way I came up with the ideas. Some of them were pretty simple I must say, but creative. I think. I started off by doing Bart in my own design language, or at least the one I intended to use throughout all the variations. And that language being these thick lines with some variation in thickness and with slim hard shadows. These shadows might not seem like a lot, but they do the trick of giving the drawing some degree of depth. And that was pretty easy on its own. I kept the original color scheme and the original position because I wanted this to be our reference. This way when I started to change up the character, when you look at them side by side you could clearly see what's what and where that what fits. For example, the first one I did was Bart as a human. Not that Simpsons aren't meant to be human, but I mean human with human skin color and regular hair and stuff like that. You can see the two of them are distinct, but the way I did it you can clearly see where everything came from and what I was trying to achieve with this. I gave him eyebrows, human hair that I extended to the arm and legs and I changed the position a little bit by raising his right arm. This way I could use the newly created element to add some personality and since Bart is a kid I went for a lollipop and some drool which turned out pretty nice. Also to emphasize the real human part of the situation I turned the sneakers into actual sneakers with shoelaces and with more real socks. And that's it, simple but in my opinion really cool and cleverly made. The one thing I regret though were the eyes. I could have done them more towards the human side of things but at the time I think I tried it and thought they were kind of essential to keep the Simpson reference very present. Without these eyes it completely looks like a different thing and I didn't want that. But moving on, after human Bart I tried something that allowed me to change up his clothing a bit. So I kept him human but went for a gangster vibe. And this was actually people's favorite when I did a poll on Instagram at the time. But for me, none beats Fart Simpson. But I guess this one is also pretty cool. So, I changed the shorts into sweatpants and the shirt into a hoodie and gave him the same color scheme but with a darker accent to match the darker vibe of him being a gangster. Darker shoes, darker blue and darker orange. I gave him a new haircut, something more stylish. Gave him earrings and piercings and made the expression a bit angrier by slanting the eyebrows and removing the smile. Again, very subtle things but combined they make the concept come to life. Finally I turned the lollipop into a gun and bam you get a very cool gangster Bart. And after that I was like ok this is pretty cool but what if Bart was a girl? Again, this was not rocket science, but it had some trickier parts. I started with the dress, which is just an elongated version of his shirt, and that allowed me to ditch the pants, or shorts in this case. But it created a problem. I had no pocket now, so where the hell do I put this extra hand I have to deal with? So that's where this very far-fetched idea of walking a cactus came from. The leash was a good option for me to give her something to hold on with both hands, and I'm not very good at drawing dogs, so I drew a cactus. I think I did a flower at first, but changed it into a cactus, because since I'm going to be ridiculous, let me go all the way. And that's mostly it, the rest is very simple, girly hair, lipstick and some eyelashes, 
This is definitely where stereotypes come in handy. I don't like them in real life because everybody can be whatever they want and some things don't have to be specific to girls or boys. But in these art concepts, stereotypes help a lot when you need to transmit an idea with very few elements. Okay, before I talk about Fart Simpson, let me show you this one, which is also pretty funny the way I came up with the idea. Funny isn't the right word, I, I mean simple. So, I'm a fan of Avatar The Last Airbender and I was re-watching the anime at the time I was drawing the other variations. And the thought came to my mind, what if I turn Bart into Aang? And the rest is history, my friends. I tried my best to give this fat kid Aang's monk outfit, gave him Aang's arrow tattoos and Aang's skin color and I really think this turned out great. When I was doing this, I started by just goofing around, but I was immediately invaded with a very cool feeling of creative achievement. In this one, as you can see, the not having pockets issue was kind of easy to fix. I just replicated Aang's staff, so I quickly took care of one hand, and secondly I made this weird thing that combines the four elements, which are basically Aang's avatar powers. And that's it, Bart, the last airbender. So, about Fart Simpson. I saved my favorite for last because this one speaks to me. It really came from the heart or maybe <laughs> my intestines, I don't know. Maybe my intestines are connected to my brain considering the ideas I have sometimes. But anyway, if this seems simple to you, it's because it is. I mostly turn his head and his limbs into smoke like he's some kind of fart Casper or something, and made the smoke green so our brains can somewhat understand that this is supposed to be putrid. Also, I desaturated the color of the shirt to match the rotten tone, and yeah, that's it. A fart Simpson. Fart Bart. Bart Flatulensen. <laughs> You get it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. This was very cool and fun to make and it also was surprisingly awesome to revisit. Subscribe and share this with your friends and I'll see you in the next video with some other type of creative stuff. Project shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs>